welcome back to the Adams Family Mystery Mansion. This is part two in the finale to the Family Night update. And believe me, there are some stuff to talk about with this one. Oh boy, what can I say? Um, needless to say, there's not a whole lot when it comes to showing stuff off. Like, for example, you know, there's this picture here. And this uh, advertised logo. There's one with Wednesday, Don't Torture My Family But Me, you know, things like that. But we did get some in-game pop-ups which I wanted to show off here. So the first one that came up is this one, which is explaining that this weekend we have a Platinum Pack offer just for you. Get it before it goes away. Which is a black heart, because, you know, wants to be cute. The next one here is Happy Mother's Day to all mothers in the world from the Adams Family Mystery Mansion team. Which, you know, because this was taking place in May. Most, uh, I think in America anyways. I think England, their Mother's Day is on a different day, but I digress. And the last one was that, at some point, uh, Ready to Tame a uh, Chimilla, the Beast Tamer pack, is now available in the vault for a limited time. So there you go. So we got some stuff there, and uh, I guess I'll show that stuff off while we get into it. So, let's just dive right in back into the game, and see where we last left off back on the 13th of May. So when we last left off, we just bought in the Platinum Pack, because why not? I had to do this anyways. But yeah, the, ooh, God. <laughs> I forgot how many stuff just popped in there. So, uh, okay, cool. So we got some stuff. Gonna collect some of these things, and yeah, okay. Now then, let's put this stuff down, and, uh... Start, uh, you know what? Just put it into this room that we've unlocked last update, which is the think of the armory. Yeah, it makes sense to put a rack there. I love it how these things just kind of come together, isn't it? Anyways, let's put um, Pugsley's outfit on and see his animation, which is right here. The uh, yeah, this one. So he's juggling, and then all of a sudden it's like, uh, oh, oh, and then the spirits are back, and now they're going after him and spooking him. And I don't know if they went into him or like what happened there, but uh, okay. Well, if he seems okay. And then it just restarts from there. We got the premium pack, which we'll look at later on. And yeah, we just need the one more pack. And then we get the Parker skin, which we will show off later on. But anyways, we got this still going on here. We've collected this. Let's continue on with the quests. Soon enough. <laughs> Not yet, but we're getting there. But, uh, yeah, the main story is uh, certainly interesting when it's far as uh, the theming goes with spooking medieval ghosts. But that is with the Adams. Talking about one of the Adam members that may or may not have existed. We got Thing's costume, which is that of the dragon, and we're going to have him breathe fire now. So, unfortunately, he's behind a chair, so that's great. Let me move this away. There we go. Now let's zoom in on this man and see how he blows his flame. Ooh. Man, that's a pyromaniac if I ever did see one. Ramstein would be very proud. <laughs> you know, because these guys are... You know, I digress. The band themselves, you know. <laughs> Anyways, we got her um, Wednesday skin. I was about to say the wrong person. We haven't gotten her yet. We're going to go into the Wishing Well, and she's going to get a blue spirit for us, which makes sense. So we're going to go into the well, see how that turns out, and um, go from there. But uh, yeah, man, ever since I started doing video stuff as far as uh, just commentating over, you know, with the other Adams Family 2022 things, these are becoming a lot more difficult to kind of finish off and collect kind of enjoying this reading about my uh, past during the time of commentating over clips but yeah I'm just trying to catch up with them the stuff here and uh, we get a little sneak peek at the animation but don't worry we're gonna go in closer soon enough but yeah we get a we get a good idea what happens here so basically Wednesday throws something into the well and then magic ooh spooky glow happens and then a blue ghost pops up Yep, there it is. And then it's like floating, it says hi, and then poof. Now it's gone. Wednesday free the ghost. A spirit that is this ball of energy. Oh, we got an Adam's uh, night pack box. 
Oh, we got something for Lurch, which is pretty useless if I'm going for the box. <laughs> the box. Uh, not the box, but, the, you know, the pack. The thing. You know, the thing? The thing. That, that thing. That, we're getting that thing. I love that the black spirits are also the progression, by the way. Not to be confused with the white ones. <laughs> I don't know. Dark energy versus uh, lighter gray energy. But yeah. We got some of the stuff here. I guess we still got long ways to go. And it seems like a grand prize is Gomez, which is interesting. This was when they were trying to experiment. Nowadays, it's basically, oh yeah, the skin is your grand prize. It's basically the reward trophy to show people, hey, look, i beaten the quest. See? I got up to there. Ah, cool. We got, a, we got another box to open. Fantastic. Always love me them. Let's see. No, we got some stuff we already got. That's fantastic. All right. Well, you can't always win some. All right, let's see here. Uh, no, it's just some old stuff. E. All right, some. I got a lot. Of, <laughs> got a lot of Easter baskets, man. Back then, I don't know what I was doing with them. I guess I was saving them, but later on, I just said, "Nah, let me just get rid of them." Also got a lemon tree for some reason. That's gray. Oh, look at that. Nice and very colorful. Very uh, doesn't fit with the atoms. I don't know why. Just. I uh, already got one over there, so uh, I got two now. I'm gonna bundle them in close together, merge with one another. There you go. Two trees are now one big tree. Because I don't know. Back then, I was just kind of fun and wacky, especially with the limitation of the trees. But uh, what can you do? All right now, let's go to the next clip here. A few time, a few. Mm. I would say hours, maybe later. This is, I guess, gonna put this down, continue on. The <laughs> actually, now that I think about this, it actually was the next day on the 14th, but uh, you know, I digress. We're gonna put this stuff down to continue with the main quest line. With when we last left off, uh, Pugsley was learning stuff with the potion room, and basically, we needed to help uh, Fester put some stuff for a hiding spot so I guess we're gonna find out from there and continue on with the main quest afterwards so let's put this item down why did we need to put in a hiding place uncle fester so you have a safe place in case things go wrong of course speaking of which if you see grandma lurking about you never saw me <laughs> Makes me wonder what the. Uh, <laughs> makes me wonder what uh, Lur uh, not Lurch, Fester did. <laughs> what did he do to Grandma that made him kind of go, "Ooh, I, I don't want to speak to Mother. She won't be." Maybe he's playing with the uh, possessed things he's not supposed to. All right, cool. We got that stuff going on here. Uh, next day, the fifteenth, and we finally got this done. Man, it's taking a long time just to do stuff, but uh, whatever. Imbue with a green soul, the Garden Knight will stand guard. Not that Cleopatra would allow any intruders in the garden anyway. Yeah, the plant is very scary. We need to gather some additional items to set Sir Mordred's spirit free! His ghost has slipped away and must be found! We need to find his armor and weapons to draw him closer. Uh, I was hoping to keep his sword, but I guess he still needs it. Alright, free spirit. Obtain knight's shield, obtain the ghost, and get the collection. And I guess uh, get the knight set going on here. Oh, cool. We got uh, the stuff we need. The the knight that Morticia was talking about, as well as uh, some summoning circle that's going to be needed for Grandma. So, yeah. Ugh, got that. Man, gotta love that it. um, can't be a video without me being tired, because uh, <laughs> it's just so boring. No, it's not. It's it's just my, my inability to sleep properly on certain things, because... Uh, Bad time management, necessarily, especially staying up at night because of work. Can only do so much because of time limitations and what have you. But hey, we are getting somewhere with this. And um, yeah, we got some collections, collecting to do, more or less so. But hey, it's what it is. Alright, so I guess we're going to continue on with uh, 
on Wednesday doing that to help us collect what we need to collect. Oh, you know what? We can actually get the shields pretty much real quick and easy. And we're coming close to halfway point and we get the stairs, so that's kind of cool. We're going to get the stairs first of all. And, uh, yeah. Again, this was still in this experimental phase because I believe this was like the fourth? No, fifth. I think this was the fifth. Yeah, there was the fifth uh, event that they've actually done, so it's still kind of like trying to find its footing before it settles on. Ah, this is what we'll do. We'll stay it like this because reasons. So yeah, ever since then, every update would have an event going on. And some minor updates to the main story of the game. Though nowadays, it's pretty full with uh, a lot of junk. Alright, still on the 15th. We got some stuff for that, which I guess I'm going to collect because I don't know why. I guess because I want to get this because reasons. Thank you, um, Carvo. Uh, yeah, I already kind of already voiced you in that clip and you're very slowly. And then he disappeared. Okay, cool. Right, so this is where I'm at right now. So not, not too much, but uh, still getting at it. Getting points and whatnot, this is part of the game's um, process, the kind of um, routine that you have to do is basically just collect certain things, put things together, and uh, what have you. But it is what it is. Right, yo. Now then, let's see what I was planning on doing back two years ago. Alright, got the decoration broken, that's fantastic, that's always great. And, uh, again, collecting spirit stuff, because that's the only thing I got going on right now. Man! Talk about experimental. And I, I was also trying to experiment how to do this, because, um, it's not like my other main game that I try to cover, you know. This was still me trying to figure things out, and, you know, what have you. Right, so now we've clicked on this, and as you can see, that new pack, the Beast Chamber pack, is opened up, and it actually comes with a few things. And I believe this was taking place still on the 15th, so this was still happening, I think, um, I'm not sure when exactly it was on the 15th this was happening, but, uh, yeah. So we got some stuff there, some things to help us out, and of course you get two costumes and some chests, so that's always fun. Right, so... That is that. I didn't think... I'm not under so sure if I actually went with this, but I don't think I did. I was kind of pondering of whether or not I was going to get it. Although, maybe, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I did, because I'm still pondering on the fact of if I'm going to get it or not. And I guess I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, oh, well, yeah, we've got some stuff here to still put down, like this plant I ended up getting in one of the boxes, and of course, the items I ended up just getting recently, which is the Garden Knight, which is basically a knight with uh, plants growing on it, and of course, the Summoning Circle, which will be perfect place for the Potion Lab, which is, I guess, now going to turn into a magic source for Grandma, because why not? There you go. Fits right there perfectly. She can just do her magic mobile jumbo over there. Oh, okay, well, I guess I did buy it after, eventually, after a few, uh, after I did that, I came back to it, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna go get it. So this is how I get Kitty and, um, Thing's costume. Alright, cool. And they got the stairs, yay! We get to change the Easter stairs, or I'm sorry, the, the spring event stairs, to that of this event stairs, the family night, because... Get it? It's like family night, but it's the night is spelt with an like a K. Ha ha ha! Funny, funny. Uh, punnies are funny. Remember that, kids. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just being cringe, clingy. All right. So we're gonna have um, thing do its thing and do the animation, which I believe is climbing up the wall. Yeah, and we're not really the wall, but on the tombstone. So you got to see this. And, okay, so he's dancing on the grave, and it's upsetting the ghosts. So, yeah, so he jumps up here, and he does his little can-can, and then the spirits are, like, not happy about that. It's just like, get off. <laughs> and he's like, okay, man, woo. All right, so this is our second costume with Kitty. And he finally gets an animation he gets to do, which is this. Which is okay. 
Is he is he literally just sitting? Oh, he's he's literally gar. Okay, wow. <laughs> what a great animation! It says he just stops there. Wow. Fantastic, great animation. He's like, oh, but he's perfectly standing guard, get it? It's just like, yeah, but that's like just him s sitting and staying. It's like, ah, but it's an animation. It's for free. It's money. Money. Moolah. Collections. What have you. The big uh, hoo-ha. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ignore me. I've gone insane. All right, so we got that going on here. And uh, let's see, let's click on this, and oh good, we got that, which we already just unlocked. Mm. God, I hate the fact I have to yawn during these stuff. It's always whenever I talk. When I don't talk, it's fine, but as soon as I talk, it's like, no, nah, it's your tired time to yawn. You know, sound like you're bored, sound like you want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed right now. It's still nighttime. I don't go to bed until the day. I'm like a vampire. <laughs> uh, well, it feels like night in here anyway, so even in the day, it feels like night. Not so much the weather-wise. It gets hot in the summer, not so pleasant. Winter, I'm fine with, though, because I get to cover up. But, yeah, this is the stairs. The only creepy factor is the fact that there's hands on prints all over it that kind of look like spirits have been touching it for some raisins. But, uh, yeah, collecting and opening up boxes. This is fun. Yee, excitement. Oh, good. We got a TV radio thing. Nice. And we got some moolah as well, some diamonds and coins, which is always helpful. Oh, a bomb. Let's click that and then blow it up, as I'm sure any Adams would see a bomb in their house would do. And let's click on this. And, yeah, it looks like some sort of old TV. But it might, might not be. <laughs> Yay, yeah, yay, tired. Yay, go to bed. Ugh, I apologize on that. Man, it's always always the time when I have to try to record these things. It's like having to going to bed. But um, I digress. It is going to make it easier for me to get this done and over with so that I can still continue and continue with this stuff because I have to try to catch up with the old post stuff. I still need to get to 2020 finish 2020 and go to 2021 and I'm currently trying to do 2022 well 2022 is still a thing so yeah lots to work to do but uh, anyways we should be done with a quest it is said that Sir Mordred was the greatest mazooka dancer in the Adams family at least until Gomez came along he set the bar for everyone those moves <sighs> my darling don't look at me that way. You know I can't resist that smile. Oh, Matisha, you're so... Uh. Spirit of Sir Mordred, hearken close to me. Your time of peace draws near. Wednesday, place the summoning circle so he may approach. Um, come, Sir Knight. I promise not to shoot you with my longbow. Although, the arrow would go right through you anyway, since you have no physical form. Alright, Eternal Rust. Obtain the Knight, um, Ghost, and uh, place the Summoning Circle. And uh, this would be the last quest to this event. And uh, needless to say, I was just going to say, I, I do apologize on that. Uh, I blanked out, kind of had a brain fart go there for a minute because I had no idea what to say in that moment of what Morticia was. I, I was trying to be very like, oh, you're so uh, a fancy word for being lovey-dovey. But I, I just, my mind went blank. It was just like, Bleh. and I only had a few seconds to think about something. So I just kind of randomly just said, meh. They were like, uh. <laughs> God, God, this commentary, man. What can you expect? This is this is uh, Grimm's. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is Gale's gameplay, where Grimm talks over her gameplay. That's the lore, by the way. Why, why it's called that? If you're curious, that's why it was the whole commentary thing. And then it's it's no longer the thing now. I used to pretend that was the thing, but not anymore. So. If that's that's hidden lures, so that now you know. 
but uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, coming close, this is the 18th, I believe. I'm not sure what the last clip was, but hey, we're getting close to this, so let's continue with the last quest. I'm glad that Sir Marget can go to his eternal rest now. You can tell he was in Adams. When he heard eternal rest, he came immediately. I guess Dad has evolved from the medieval days. He rests eternally every day. And he didn't even have to go through night training to do it. And just like that, the main event story is done. So now we're just going to be focusing on the level progression and getting all the other items to level up the progression. So yeah, all the uh, quests that you're about to see is coming from the levels. And I believe it's going to unlock the next level, which surprisingly is also going to link to a hint to the next update of what's going to come up and um it's interesting because uh, what is it pixel always does this where they're like ah uh, a game the new game i know camping event <laughs> oops i spoiled it but uh you know it's been a few years so i think you pretty much know what it is anyways we need to get this table into the new room this room here yeah let's put it over there no, over here. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Let's put it there. Yes, that's perfect. Mm, what else do I need? Do I need plants, but I need chairs. Yes, stools. Lots and lots of stools. B big, big, tall stools. That's too big for the table. But screw it. <laughs> this is what they. But this is what Grandma wants. She wants big stools over small tables. Why? <laughs> Why does she need this, though? I don't know. Maybe it'll make sense in the future, but no, it never will. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying random stuff, trying to keep it commentary. I'm just trying to look at this and think, what am I saying? What? What is, what is anything going on here? I don't know. But uh, we're going to be done, and we're going to have Pugsley talk, so hooray! This chair is so tall, even Pugs can't see what's on the potion table. Yeah, I get it. Because I'm short. Very funny. Don't worry, Pugs. Height doesn't determine vision and power. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Pugs? I meant Wednesday. Taking a break from your potion preparations, Pugs? I just need to blow off some steam. Preferably by blowing up something. Can't help you there. But I did just craft this sharp, shiny new butcher's knife. Ooh, can I play with it? Of course you can, son. I mean, what could go wrong? Enjoy yourself. Great father of the year, everybody. Cutting wound, I think. It went too quickly, so I don't know what it was called exactly. I'm sure you can pause it and find out. But, uh, yeah, that's the only downside to something like this. But, yeah, we need to collect a, a butcher's knife. In order to do that, we need a steel, and we need toxic waste. Because, yes, that's what I totally think when I think that. Right, so we got that stuff going on here, and he's going to be sweeping his big broom on the stairs, because why not? And, um, yeah, I'm still thinking what to do with Morticia right now, I think. Let's see what my past self was going to do. Hmm, decision, decisions. I guess, yeah, I guess we're not going to do that then. Yeah, okay, so we just need to do that, and we need to do, collect, put these down. This is the one I was thinking of when it comes to Pugsley's talking, because, uh, yeah, you'll see exactly what I mean by this. He, he tries to be, um, specificated, or, uh, is that even the word I want to use here? He tries to be smart, smart speaking, because he's trying to be like, ah, oh, this, the planterns fit well with this room, but it's like, oh, well, no, he's not really talking about that in the sense he's just like now nah, i'm just copying with uh what they're saying also by the way these plants what ugly looking flowers you need to chop those off to get the nice vein the nice stems those are what uh adams would want to have and not these flowers <laughs> i know she's a gardening person but that was the joke was just like ah no oh, who who needs these ugly roses let's cut them off it's like ah yes the the thorns that's that's what i wanted all right, I can't put it there for some reason because logic and the size is just ridiculous. 
So I guess gonna put it. By the way, I'm not even putting it in the room it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in that room, but uh, I guess not. And uh, now we're gonna try to fit this somewhere here. I guess let's put it in the corner. I feel like the harmony of the potion room is much better with these plants. The greenery complements the creative potential of the space. Do you have any idea what you're talking about, Pugs? No, I'm just repeating something Mom and Grandma were saying. See, I was telling you, Pugsley's trying to be smart, but he's just like copy, mimic the the same thing as what they were saying there. Right, so we got that stuff going on here, and uh, her, his, his dad has something to do. Oh wait, no, that's already done. So we basically need to do this before we can continue off. So there we got that there. So a few days later, uh, we finally got the purchase after uh, on the 26th of May. So we got that stuff, and we got the creepy bed. So we got that going on. So now, ooh, level progressions. We got a few more before we're done. That's great. And I think if you got all the bundles, you would have gotten at least all the character stuff. Except for if you went for the one with Kitty and um, Thing. Because I think you'd actually get those two all together. But yeah, we got this going on here. So let's see what story. <laughs> Uncle Fester sure got the point from my new knife. I feel sharper now. I think I can cut it again when it comes to learning potions. Your dazzling wordplay leaves me truly speechless, Pugs. Gee, thanks. Wow, I don't know if that was a compliment or an insult. You, G, to judge. Grandma, can you teach me more potions now? I want to learn. Before we go further, you should learn some magic. Magic? Wow. Just in case you ever accidentally blow someone up. A spell to reanimate corpses will help you cover your tracks. Ah, yes, Grandma. Uh, to accidentally doing stuff to turn people into zombies. By the way, it's called special magic. I don't know what's so special about it except for... <laughs> I get I get Grandma's whole purpose here. to be like, ah, yes, I'm doing this for your own good child. But at the same time, I'm li listening to this. I'm just like, that's kind of creepy, though. It's like you killed somebody by accident. And you're like, ah, oh, hold on. No, hey, look, he's alive. He's a zombie, but he's alive, you know. It's just, some parts of him is just over there now. <laughs> It'll be like uh, reanimated or evil dead. Oh, God, I don't want that to happen. But, oh, yeah, I forgot. We got, also got Parker now. So, yay, we got everybody. We got the special skin, which is, I'm glad they stopped doing that now. So skins are not locked behind certain things here, but everyone seems to be busy with stuff. So I'll get to them later on. But I think one of these characters are done. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Lurch is done, so we can do him at least. And I think, yeah, so some other characters are done here too. So we're going to actually see their costumes and see how their animation looks. So let's see, let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's go with Morticia. I also learned that recently the loading screen would go longer the more items they have. So some of these characters get ridiculously long just because it's loading all the costumes. Here's her new animation gets in green ghosts by interacting with the green with the green knight. Uh, green gardening knight, I should say, but you know mm -hmm. what I mean. I actually like the fact that she has this weird masquerade looking um, um Dead, not the dead, but what do you call it? Plague Doctor's mask? I always love those kind of mask looking. It's weird. Uh, by the way, the whole history behind it is that they would actually put these flowers in there, in the little hole area, because they believed the flowers had some magic protection that kind of prevents them from getting sick. So, yeah, it was kind of doing its job, but not really. But yeah, this is her animation, what she does here. The ghost kind of pops in. So she basically just kind of does this, waters it, and then, you know, throws this, and then poof, magic ghost. All right, and then that's done. So now we're going to the next character, which is Lurch, which is him being uh, executioner. Gets white ghosts, which is pretty pathetic, but he actually gives us... Oh, he gives us ghost. Anyways, he's like, oh, gotta get the ghost. <laughs> Spooky item floating in the midair. Oh, ooh, spooky! Ooh, you can't get me! <laughs> Poof. 
He's going to copy doing this a bunch of times. And of course we get Parker, which we've seen her animation before. It's her dancing with, with well, I'm getting into Sir Mordred. And we get the ghost too, so let's just see this. Yep, there she is. She's dancing. She's dancing with the ghost. She's a ghost and dancing with ghosts. Too much ghosts. To call the Ghostbusters. Actually, that's going to be a hint to next year's animation thing. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to talk about that when we get to there. Whenever we do get to there. But, uh, you know, it's it's for another another time. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, so we got that going on here. We got some costume for uh, Parker. But uh, we're not there yet. And I believe all the costumes are done. Except for Grandma and... Wow, we're actually going to get... Um, we're close to getting um, Gomez's, which defeats the purpose of getting to the end. Because why, why are you far? Yeah, sorry. Why even bother? We're getting his costumes. Oh, good. We're getting more. More! More boxes! More boxes to open. Let's see. Are we going to get more lucky? Yeah. I think I end up blocking him through this method, so I didn't even bother getting through the progression bar. Except we're getting up to Grandma. I'm not 100% sure where I left off, but I know once I got the costume, it was like, well, why even go to level 50 if I got everything, right? <laughs> well, what's the point? Anyways, yeah, so I've got that going on here. So a few more levels to get the costumes for the centerpiece as well as for Grandma. And then, of course, yeah, everything else is just weird cosmetic stuff that we don't really need. So really, it goes up to 425, and then everything else ends up becoming, like, if you get Gomez's skin, then it's like, why even bother going to the end? Because it's like, you know, what's the purpose? Nothing. There's no reason. It just happens. Right, so we got this going on here. Got some stuff unlocking, got some cursed swords. Always good, always good. Yeah, we got some stuff going on here. And, uh, gonna open up some more boxes. And hopefully we'll actually be completing something in the quest because we're actually getting close to something. So oh, we got that going on here. And I'm going to watch an ad. I'm going to cut it out. So, but uh, anyways, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so we got the blast box and we got the progression bar. So we got that done. So yay for that. So we got family desires now. So that's the next thing we need to do in order to get this done. And it's pretty easy to do because right then there... Fantastic, we got that done. So now we need to open up boxes, and oh boy, <laughs> if only this came before, but you know, I have some boxes to still collect. But uh, anyways, let's just sell some more stuff because, yeah, so we got that done there. Pretty good. So we got that level done. So, yeah, again, not a whole lot of stuff going on here. So, things of that nature, yeah. <laughs> so we only need to do Pugsy's mission, and then also we need to do the boxes for you know the actual main event kind of progression but not really anyways we got grandma so we finally got grandma's costume so now we can see what her whole magic uh, thing is and there she is she's a warlock or uh, mage and she gets blue spirits because I don't know because reasons her and Wednesday blue blue spirits but we're going to see her animation, and then we're going to see Gomez's because... Oh, God, what's going on there, Grandma? Why is her stick kind of sticking out like that? I don't like it. I don't know. I don't like it. It's it's weird. <laughs> I think the layering is kind of glitched out there, but uh, let's pretend that's not the case. Anyways, here I'm doing this. He's kind of doing the summoning thing. He's just praying. And then, ooh, magic. And then here's the spirit. And then it disappears. And then that's what she does. She just does that. So now we need to get the centerpiece skin. And then we need to get Gomez's costume. But I think I'm getting close to getting Gomez's costume anyways. So we got that going on there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got lots of items, man. man. I got too many of those jars. Really? I don't know what. I need to sell them off. I mean, I need to get that, by the way. And Lurch actually drops it off if you actually get one of his skins, but um, I didn't, so I had to do the long way of getting that uh, special um, reanimation spell that we need. But yeah, we got that going on here, so six more days. And apparently Gomez is frozen, so that's great. But uh, let's ignore that. Alright, so we're now on the 30th, and the event is almost ending soon. 
But as you can see, I gotten the thing over, uh, I guess, over the, the part I didn't record. So that's done. And, uh, oh, whoops, I forgot to say all. There you go. Now we're done. Perfect. Now all the centerpieces are done and collected. So all I need to do now is get Gomez, which I believe I end up getting through a box, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's let's find out exactly what we need to do here. So we still need to get more of these. Man, they're taking a while. Yeah, because we need to do that, and only Fester can give me that stuff, surprisingly, because I got the costume, so that makes it even better for me. Uh, collect some points to level up, because that's the only thing I got going on. <laughs> Yeah, we got that going on there, so we should be done, and we should be close to leveling this up. So yeah, a few more levels to get Gomez's skin, but I think I end up getting it before, actually. Maybe? I'm, I'm trying to rethink, because I know I've edited this bit behind, but I wasn't paying attention. I was only paying attention to certain things and kind of ignoring others, so you see how value I am when it comes to stuff like this. But uh, yeah... Anyways, I got that going on here, and yeah, okay, cool. Right, so we got that going on here. Saying that again, I digress. So let's just skip this a bit for time. And we got this level here, and I got some boxes, so let's see if I'm lucky and get Gomez. Let's see. Nope, not Gomez, but don't worry, I might get him soon. All right, let's see this again. Gomez? Nope, not Gomez. <laughs> Uh, only soon get his knight off it. Come on, Gomez, and nope, not Gomez. Okay, well, all right. Well, I can't. I kind of tried, kind of close, but don't worry, I'll get it. I'm gonna level this up, sell some of the stuff to the family members. Man, I still need to get a lot of stuff. A lot of these items that is part of the event. And yeah, oh well, two more days left by the way, so it, it'll end on, I think, June 1st. And look at this, I got all this stuff here and I need one more for that. So I think this is how I got his costume, perhaps, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure, I ended up getting, yeah, <laughs> I just need that, so I need one more. So I said, I think I said, screw it, I'm going to, I think, get it to Calvo. But I think I needed to collect some stuff here. So I think that's what I did. Also, the sound ended up going away. So I had to dub it again with a new sound and audio. So I do apologize on that. It's going to happen right about now. So now you're with music I added on. So no sound effects, unfortunately, for this clip. So just ignore that. But uh, we're coming close to doing this. And uh, actually, actually, we should be also done with that. Uh, getting that animated thing. Yeah, we're not there yet. All right, so, all right, let's just finish this quest off. Grandma, I cast a spell on Lurch, but I couldn't see any difference. Well, Lurch is special, Pugsley. Just like Pugs is special. Right. Wait. What do you mean by that? Right. Okay. If I combine explosives and potions, I bet I can make some great stuff. I just need some trip mines to get started. I'll grab a handful. Ugh, these are hard to carry, but I can hold them all. I think. Uh oh, I'm losing my balance. Ah! Just because they're trip mines doesn't mean you have to take it literally, pugs. Right, sweep into action. Have Lurch do a thing and have Pugsy deliver some trip mines. And uh, you don't know how much of a pain that was to get uh, anime because I ended up clicking on the stuff fast for my audio to kind of continue, so I had to literally just do that. And I can't do his animation because he's doing the ghost problems for me. And uh, yeah, again, this is a surprise to me. I'm trying to figure out how I ended up getting this thing, but uh, I digress. Got a lot of tombstones, man. He needs. Well, how many knights died in the atoms? I know they like tombstone stuff, but you know, like actual knight tombstones. I think that's too much. I get the one, but like a bunch, no. Um, but we got that bed that we still need to put down as well. That creepy, creepy bed. Yeah. Oh, I don't need this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. So, yeah, put it. I guess sell it. I guess I end up selling it, but what, what am I doing? Yeah, sell it. Good. Good. 
I don't know why it took me that long, but yeah, now we got this. The special unique item that comes in the bundle, which is this bed that looks that is a big coffin bed. Looks like a king size or queen size coffin bed. Uh, where did I put this again? I think I put it in the spare bedroom. I think. I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I think. Although I might have put it in Grandma's room, maybe. Let's see. What did I do? I'm debating if I put. Yeah, I ended up putting it here. Okay. It's in Grandma's room. I guess. I think it's technically Grandma's room. That's what she was in for the time being. And uh, let's see here. What do we need? Hmm. Alright, so there are some stuff going on there. Uh, he's almost done with that, so that's great. So we can have him go on his little quest to finish the story off. And uh, continue on with the new one, which should, hopefully, wrap this everything up. So, let's just do this. And I'm trying to think how exactly I ended up getting Gomez. Because I don't think I ended up going through all the leveling just to get him. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I know I did for one of them. So, I'm, I'm, I'm confident I, I got it in the box or through Calvo, but I don't know. I don't even know if I said his name properly, but, you know, the mailman, the mailman, you know, that guy. And I'm waiting, and he should be, yep, dead, no, he's done, good. Uh, yeah, the sound effects, you know, got this, I'm gonna go, oh, hmm, hmm, you know, creepy, <laughs> got some good stuff. 49, so we're getting close to getting Gomez skin. <laughs> Let's find out together what I ended up doing. Did I get it through the leveling system or what? I guess I'll find out. And, uh, you know, I guess if it didn't glitch back then, it would have glitched here. Because that was a lag if I ever did see one. Like, oof, boy. Radio. Oh, let's see here. Got that stuff going on there. I got that. Click on this. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, cool. Sell a bunch of stuff because why not? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm stupid. It turns out I ended up getting through all this just to get to the final, so I didn't end up going through boxes or Calvo. I just got it through the progression bar. And I, I probably am thinking of something in the future. Well, yeah, if you're curious, if you do get a costume that he's already selling, it turns into coins, so that's like, why even bother? Right, so now we're finally done with him, so let's see... What no, I wanted to yes, there you go. He's in this costume now, so he drops us the night stuff, which is I guess useful, but not anymore. And I think he does the polishing stuff, so I think he's gonna go to his station just to see. Yeah, and I think I put it outside for now, but I think I moved it into the armory, which makes more sense to put it there. But you know, I'm still learning with this game back then. So where did I put that? Ah, I put it over here. Great. All right, so this is what he does. So he's looking at this. He's going to polish it up. Yep, looking nice and sparkly. And it's like, ding. So now let's zoom in real close. Let's get a nice look at this animation. Yep, look at that effort. Putting that puppet into work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sparkle, sparkle. That armor. Mm-hmm. That's a good animation if I didn't see to see one. He never uses... He had a sword with him, but he never uses it. So that's great. <laughs> Could have used that for something, but no. The grandma could have used a stick. Lurch could have used his, his handy thing, but nope. Again, a lot of these characters hold on to stuff, but they don't use it, so... Yeah, anyways. Lurch is going to do that. We're going to be done. And the audio is going to come back right about now. Alright, cool. Let's do this. It sure is lucky we have Lurch to clean up all the mess I made, isn't it? <sighs> Aw, cheer up, Lurch. Pugs is giving you job security here. Yeah, if anything, you should thank him. And we're done. Yay! Camp pack. <laughs> uh, and it comes with a unique car and everything like that and some barbecue stuff. But yes, this is interesting because this gets to the next leveling in level 17. And it just so happened to correlate to a new event that's going to come up in June which has always been infamous for being camping news. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Pixel, but they always love to do camping event after school ends because that's just the thing to do. But yeah, I guess we're done with that and the event will be ending very soon. But let's see the progression. Let's start this mission off and uh, continue on with the next part in the next update. The mansion is great, but we should go outside occasionally. Why don't we plan a camping trip? Midnight camping can be glorious. 
As long as we're going somewhere interesting, like a graveyard. Of course. You know we're always interested in educational excursions. Alright, camping grave adventures. I think that's what it said, I don't know. We need to get the side yard, so we're not going to get that in this update. <laughs> this video, anyways. That's going to come up in the in the next update video we're going to get. And actually, what's coming up in that one is that a new feature is coming. A new character is going to pop in and uh, introduces a new mechanic, which may or may not be controversial. And uh, I'm going to have them do that, because why not? Right, so I guess that's it for this update. Um, so overall, when I thought of it, eh, you know what? For a May update, it's not that bad. I think um, it did its job properly, I think. Uh, it wasn't too offensive. It wasn't too bad, from what I recall. And I think, overall, I think it was pretty decent. Um, I'm going to find out where exactly I'm going to put this on the list, though. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide whether or not where I want to put this. But I'm sure it's going to be better than... The last event we had to deal with was, was the spring update because I don't know what it is with the spring update. It just kind of doesn't feel right to me, you know? Anyways, I got this going on here. Going to click on this more and more. And eventually we should be done with this. And, uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm not surprised. All right, so we got that going on here. All right, Fester Workshop deal. All right, we got this going on here. We know this, so we need to get one of these inside in order to do this. I think this is the first time we actually have been asked to do this and uh, Calvo comes back with the goth card for Parker which will be useful I think in the later half. I think that's a goth off and yeah it is okay cool. I'm not dumb I know what things look like hooray! <laughs> right alright so it's gonna be a while for me to get this so I think that should end this video no we're we're almost close so we're on June 1st, and six hours left before this update hits, or ends, and uh, yeah, we're just looking at everything here, what I need to do, and uh, so far I actually got this to go on here, so I get to continue with that, with this at least, so that's something fun. Right, so now we got that going on here. Let's see this side here, it's still not there yet. Alright, so I guess we're going to have these characters do this to try to get, finally got Martin, you know, the Mort Morticia done so I could do that finally so we got that going on here so I guess I'm going to continue that off in the next video but yeah that was the uh, Adams Family Family Night event and also level 16 of this quest line so we got to see that stuff and uh, yeah like I said it wasn't a bad update uh, I liked the idea and the theme I think for the most part it wasn't too groundbreaking or crazy but I thought Hey, you know, ghost and medieval, that makes sense. And some of the items and costumes were not that too terrible. So we got that going on there. But yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinions. So the next update, as I kind of spoiled it already, is going to be a camping update. And I won't tell you what the theme of the camping is or why it's happening. But needless to say, it's an interesting idea, I guess. So yeah, be on the lookout for that because that's going to be fun to do. This will also be a two-parter and then, uh, yeah, get to talk about the fun update that comes right after. But yeah, find out new features and whatnot will come in the next video. But that's that. I've been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time with whatever the mansion has in store for us for the Adams. Until then, hope you have a kooky night. Spelt with a K, not an N. <laughs>